Every commotion bicycle is made right here in our Eugene, Oregon facility. Uh, our staff of 18 here in Eugene um, is very proud of everything that we do here. And, uh, and I think rightly so. Um, we're a unique company and uh, we've been around since 1988. And, uh, and we stick around because people like what we do. And, uh, and our customers, of course, are very important to us. And uh, if you're not a Commotion customer, well, I hope you become one because um, we need you. And, uh, and if you find a place in your heart for one of these bicycles, um, I don't think you'll regret it. Um, <clears throat> so let's see, the Americano was introduced in 1998 and it was the first of our um, named single touring models. Um, you know, prior to that time we were primarily a tandem bike company and one of the things that made the Americano unique um, among touring bikes is we kind of abandoned the traditional um, uh, style of touring bikes. And uh, we began building the Americano with tandem tubing. So if you look at these tubes, look at this. The size of these chainstays. Um, these are, you know, um, half again as large as what you see on a typical touring bike. Uh, the seat tube, the down tube, considerably larger than you see on, um, you know, a more traditional touring bike. And, um, and we actually built the first ones with actual tandem tubing. It was a little bit overkill because, um, you know, it doesn't have to be, uh, well, it's nice to have the, the extra rigidity and capability to carry heavy loads. They didn't have to be that heavy. So then we, uh, starting about 2000, we started designing um, just a lighter version of the tandem tubing. So. Uh, these big chain stays and one of the features that makes them really tough is they don't taper down so small at the end They're not like the spindly little chain stays you see on a lot of touring bikes um, uh, So they're a little thinner than uh, um, in the wall thickness as compared to the um, You know the tandem tubes that we use on our highly respected line of tandem bikes, um, but they retain the rigidity because of the diameter. Diameter is key to handling loads, and that includes not just your touring load, but the pedaling force that you put into the bike. And if you've ever owned a, a what I would call a wimpy touring bike <laughs> with skinny tubes, you may have found that uh, when you load the bike down, it feels a little wobbly. Maybe you've had to, to fight a uh, uh, speed wobble, so when you get going fast, the bike um, starts to, to develop a wobble. Um, nobody likes that. Um, or you may have found that just pedaling with a heavier load on the bike seems like more than the bike uh, wants to do. and it, it feels like it's wagging back and forth as you maybe get out of the saddle to make your way up a climb. So the Americano is designed to carry as much um, as you are ever gonna wanna carry. You wanna carry 100 pounds of extra gear, you can do it on this bike. Um, and we know that because not only is it built with you know, tandem diameter tubes, but it also has a tandem wheel set. Um, they are, you know, we do a 36 or 40 spoke wheel and um, they're quick release wheels 
Um, so, you know, for you people that are, um, you know, used to uh, through axle and kind of newer technology, this is a bit of a throwback, but for those who like a quick release, it's really nice to be able to easily release that lever and, uh, you know, you can pull the, the wheel out easily to repair a puncture or what have you, throw your bike in the trunk. Um, <clears throat> and uh, um, it shares something similar to uh, the through axle wheels in that this is a symmetrically laced wheel. Um, you, if you're familiar with the concept of dish, this is a dishless wheel. That means the tension on the spokes coming from the right flange of the hub and the ones coming from the left flange are equal. That adds incredible strength to the load carrying capacity of the wheel. And it's the reason why you can put two people on a tandem um, without worrying about the wheels failing on a tandem bike. Um, so tandems have always had to be able to support uh, a bigger load. And so it only makes sense on a touring bike to have a dishless wheel that can carry that extra capacity so that uh, in a situation where you want to carry a heavier load for whatever reason, you might have to carry some extra gear for your partner or you know, if, if, you're, um, if you're on an expedition where you're having to carry everything um, and maybe you're documenting with a computer, camera gear, uh, and all your self-contained touring gear, cooking gear, camping, your clothing, um, you know, in extreme conditions, you might have um, quite a lot of extra gear. This bike can handle it. Um, and uh, so also for, uh, for larger sized people, be you uh, taller or simply just of a heavier build, uh, the Americano is a great choice that can handle extra weight without performing differently um, like many bicycles would. Um, I haven't mentioned with the other bikes, but all of our bikes that we're talking about today, all these four adventure touring models are available with custom sizing. Now we have a, a size range for each of these models and if you go to their website, um, to the web page, you know, you can go into the Commotion website, look at single bicycles, um, you know, screen the, uh, the touring models. You'll see the Americano there. You'll see the Divide, the Siskiyou, the Pangea, um, and our other touring models. Um, <clears throat> you will see that they come in different sizes. We have a size range for each of these models. Uh, the Americano has one of the, the broadest ranges of sizes available because it's a popular bike. Um, but uh, beyond those sizes, we can make a smaller one, we can make a bigger one. Um, we have virtually never found someone we couldn't fit. Now, sometimes we might recommend a different model. There could be a reason why one of the other wheel sizes might be a better choice for you. And uh, uh, that's because wheel size does affect um, how the geometry of the bike works and for a smaller stature person sometimes it makes sense to build around a, a 650B wheel or a 26 inch wheel. Um, 700C is um, perhaps considered the traditional wheel size for a touring bike. Um, there are great tires available and a wide range of, of styles, bigger, smaller, more puncture resistant, less puncture resistant, easier rolling resistance. Um, 
<clears throat> uh, more traction, et cetera. There's, uh, we can, we'll go into tire choices <laughs> in another video. Um, but uh, we're all about choices and um, again, the Americano is a great one that has a lot of options. Um, and we look forward to talking to you more about this bike and the other bikes that we make.